All right, Pouring Nation, today we're going to do a Dutch pour, and on one half we're going to blow the white paint over the top of the other paint. On the other half we are not. We're just going to leave the flood on either side and see how much different it is. I know there are a bunch of artists like uh, Canela Siraco and uh, she doesn't like to, if I recall correctly, she doesn't like to to blow the white over the other paint because it dulls it. And then there's other artists like Rinsky Downa that always blows it over or most of the time blows it over. And I want to show you what the difference is between that. Now the colors I'm using here, I've, I've actually made up from a Montmartre uh, set that I have that I purchased. And then this color right here is the color shift from Folk Art. This is the uh, blue violet flash. One interesting thing about this, and I'll show you here on the side, is notice how blue the paint is when it dries on the side, but how purple it is inside. See the difference between the color there? That's the two different colors that you're gonna get. And one of the ways to see that is actually just to let the paint sit up on the side and pull it down and let it sit for a couple minutes and then you'll see the, the different color paints on these color shift paints. Now, because this is a Dutch pour, this is gonna be very thin. Um, this is essentially integrating immediately when it hits the paint. It's not really, it's leaving a maybe a teeny tiny bit of a mound and then going away. Um, Dutch pours you can do anywhere from a medium thin to a very thin, depending on how you want the colors to go. So let's get the test started. So this side here will be our blowover. And then we'll give it a little torch while we let it settle. All right, so this is gonna be the big difference between the two that I have found. If you notice the blow over here, all of these colors are way more subtle. And that makes sense because you're blowing the white or whatever color it is over the top. So you're kind of infusing all of the colors with that first as it goes out. Now on this side, I have a lot more harsh color, not harsh, bright colors. They're just not softened by the white or whatever color I came out. Uh, to do there. So that's going to be one of the main differences in how this works is you're going to get brighter colors on this side and the more paint you put on the bigger those bands of colors are going to be. If you noticed I put quite a bit of paint in the middle and quite a bit of white and that's why I have so much on both sides. The less I put down the less big my uh, bloom of paint is going to be on either side. Now I probably should have gone this way first as I was coming back I essentially pushed twice out this way. That's why I have this uh, blank or this white area here and I might blow a little more paint on there just to make it look a little better afterwards. But again, neither way is bad. It just depends on how much color you want and potentially some of the cellular action on some of your, some of your paints there. I was kind of surprised to get so much of this cellular action on the outside I need to do a little more testing to see exactly what did that. Especially here on the white, I wanna get me some. The nice thing about using paints like this, and I only used a little bit of water, paint and water was all I used for these, and then use that consistency as you can get these areas where you push kind of the paint up and out. Get these little mini cells which I really like. So, just to recap, if you want it softer or you want it infused with a color, blow over, then do your main blow. If you want more vibrant colors and a bigger color band in the middle, 
don't blow your white over and then try and blow from your color out and that way you get more of that color going on. I could have blown the white over and got that color. It still would have been a little bit brighter, but that would have dulled down this one section where the white went over the color and then went over the next piece of white. So let me know in the comments below how you do your Dutch pours. And if you're curious what the difference is between blowing with your mouth, blowing with a straw, or blowing with a blow dryer, I have a video for you here.